Hello class. Today we're going to continue our lesson at looking at solutions. Our target for the day will be I can compare the different ways to separate mixtures. Today we're going to focus on magnets. But before we begin, let's do a little review. So what are mixtures? A mixture is a combination of two or more substances. Substances in a mixture can be separated. They are not chemically combined. Okay. So a solution, like I said again, is a mixture of two or more substances. There are two forms of solutions. You have homogeneous or uniform, which is a mixture where all the particles are evenly mixed, such as this soup right here. And then you have heterogeneous or non-uniform which is a mixture made of two or more substances that are combined or mixed together, but not dissolved together. Like the Skittles you have here. You can separate the Skittles just by picking them out based on their color. So separating mixtures. A mixture is often easy to separate into its parts. You can use the properties of the substances in a mixture to separate them from each other. You have magnetism which is a magnet that can be used to separate substances that are attracted to a magnet. Filtration, the process of separating substances with a filter. Filtration can be used to separate some liquids from uh, some solids from liquids like sand from water. Filtration can also separate big objects from little objects. And then some mixtures of solids and liquids can be separated by evaporation. So you guys remember evaporation. We saw a bunch of different videos on this. Basically when they take salt water and then they boil it. After they boil it to the point that the water, it turns into a gas, you are left with the salt residue, just like these two pictures here. Then you have filtration. So filtration is the process of separating substances with a filter. Filtration can be used to separate some solids from liquid, like sand from water. This was the video that we saw last week with the little boy when they took the sand water, they ran it through the coffee filter, and then they separated the sand, water, the sand from the water, like you see here. Not just that, but if you guys remember the other video where the gentleman dropped his keys in the water, he used his hand as the filter to catch the keys as the water went through his fingers. Then you have magnetism. A magnet can be used to separate substances that are attracted to a magnet. So if you guys remember the video, there were metal shavings inside a cup with sand. The little girl took the cool purple magnet, shook it around and twisted it, and then ended up pulling out just the metal shavings without the sand. Today, we are gonna focus on magnetism. But instead, what I decided to do was, I found this really cool video showing you different experiments using the magnets. I promise you, you guys haven't seen this one. So what I'd like you guys to do is, after this video, go on to the next window and watch the video that I have there on the different uh, experiments they did with magnets. You guys ought to think this is pretty cool. Then afterwards, I want you guys to go ahead and complete the discussion box. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I really did.